السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم آمين My dear listeners, I welcome you all to the 68th module of Nurani Qaeda. Insha'Allah, today we will be looking into the exercises where you will be dealing with words that have the letters with Fatha Kasra Dhamma and Fatha Tan Kasra Tan and Dhamma Tan. So now let us quickly start our today's lesson. So as you see on your screens, our first word for today has three letters. The first letter, which is Hamza, has a Fatha on it. So Hamza Fatha A. Next is Ba with a Fatha again. Ba Fatha Ba. Now let's read both these letters together. Aba. And then we have Dal with a Fatha Tan, which is Dal Fatha Tan Dan. Aba Dan. Also, one thing that is to be noted here is the letter Alif after the Dal Fatha Tan. So this letter Alif is a silent letter. So we are not going to read the letter Alif which is after Dal Fathatan. So now let's read this word again. Abadan. Abadan. Okay. So moving on to our next word for today. We see Hamza Fatha. We see Ha Fatha. And we see Dal Dommatan. Now let's spell these words together. Hamza Fatha A Ha Fatha Ha Dal Dummatan Dun Ahadun 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 Now moving on to the third word, let us first identify the letters which is Hamza, Kho, and Dal. And now let us look at the haraka on it. Hamza has a Fatha, which is Hamza, Fatha, A. Kho, Fatha, Kho. A, Kho. Dal, Fatha, Dha. A, Kho, Dha. A, Kho, Dha. Note that I am not trying to pull any of the letter. I'm not saying a khaza or a khaza or a khaza. No, I'm reading every letter of this word with just one count, with just one harakat. So it is a khaza, a khaza. Alhamdulillah, with this we come to the end of our today's lesson. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته